In the last tutorial we looked at entering waypoints into the CDU up here, but that's not a very efficient way of actually planning a flight. So if we go back to the charts from skyvector.com, you'll see that we've gone from LA to Murma to Exert up to the RZS VOR, and we would have to continue entering each of these fixes all the way up to San Francisco. Now you can see there are quite a number of them, and it would be very, very easy to make a mistake and get things wrong. So there is a shortcut for entering the flight plan. If we just take this back to KLAX and we zoom in again, and you'll remember that uh, I have been talking about this number here, V25. So what we're going to do is follow the V25 route all the way up to San Francisco. But we don't want to enter each of these waypoints because it takes too long and we could make a mistake. So let's go back to the computer here. So we'll start again, we're going to wipe this plan. So to do that, we go back to the main page and we simply enter a brand new origin and that will wipe the plan completely and start again. Now you could type in KLAX into the scratch pad and enter it back into here by pressing line select key one left but there's an easier way to do that and it's a bit of a shortcut I'll just get rid of the KLAX down there if we press this key here it will bring KLAX down into the scratch pad so I'll press that now so that's as though we've typed that in now we simply bring it back up into the origin and the flight plan has been erased so that's something easy to remember but very very handy so our destination is KSFO next page now we're going to enter the LAX VOR first of all and we can see it's down here on the ND that's our first waypoint from the airport itself up to the LAX VOR and I'm going to enter the San Francisco VOR underneath the LAX VOR and we can see that if I zoom out on the ND we've got the San Francisco VOR up here slightly obscured by the airport itself now we are flying direct to the LAX VOR from the airport and from the LAX VOR we are flying direct to the San Francisco VOR so LAX direct to San Francisco but we don't actually want to do that we want to fly via so this is the left hand column here via the V25 airway so if I type in V25 and I press this key here it's now entered all of those points for us on the navigation display so if I just zoom in you can see it's entered Murma, Exert, VTU, Dino, all the way up to San Francisco. We go back and have a look at the chart from the LAX VOR. It's come across to Murma, Exert, the Ventura LAX, the Ventura VOR, sorry. And if we find V25, which is over here, up to Dino. Let's follow V25 again, comes up to here, to this VOR, San Marcos, and so on, all the way up to San Francisco. So let's activate that route. Press activate. It turns from cyan dashed line to a white dashed line. We hit execute, and the entire route is now active all the way up to San Francisco. So you can see that by entering a route on the airways using the airways system is much much more efficient and much faster than having to manually enter each of these waypoints. And now that the flight plan has been entered we can fly the magenta track manually or we can get the aircraft to fly it automatically if I bring up the mode control panel, we can see the button here called LNAV. That stands for Lateral Navigation. 
and the aeroplane will automatically fly along this path all the way to San Francisco and you don't have to do a thing.